Hello everybody, Tim here, back again with another review for the Lego Harry Potter Rise of Voldemort set. It's set 75965, has 184 pieces, and it retails for $19.99 in the U.S. Here's your box. Um, it's a pretty thin box, as you can see. Shows you some of your features. Uh, I know in my last couple reviews I said that I was going to be opening the box on camera. Um, however, this time that is not going to be the case because I did not build this at home. I built this elsewhere. Um, yeah, so you get four minifigures, five if you include the grave statue. Um, because I have the set pushed aside, I'm going to show you guys the instruction manual, which is pretty simple. Um, there's nothing um, weird about it. There is one thing that is kind of um, interesting. So it has you build, so on the box right here, it has you build this part, right, where Voldemort is. And they have you put this on top of these jumper plates down here. And they, it shows that in the manual, I can show you. So here's when we build that piece, um, sticker. And then yeah, you can see it shows you to put it there on the box, it shows it's not there, and every picture on the box, it's not there. Um, so, I don't know if that's, that's just regular mistake or what, but there is uh, 51 pages of building. Um, yeah, so let's get into the review. Let's look at the minifigures first. So first things first, we get this um, port key, right? I think that's right. Um, which I think this is the first time they've made one that is brick built. I think the last time they made one, it was one of those trophy pieces. Um, but this is brick built. You can have Harry hold on to it if I move this one out of his hand. You can hold on to it like this, or on the box, shows I'm holding on to it by these um, clips, like that. And that doesn't make a whole bunch of sense. Um, but, you know, it looks good. Um, I'm just throw it off the side, you know, and it looks fine. So, let's move on to the um, features. I want to start off with this cauldron, which is pretty cool. It has some funny, um, some fun things inside of it. So, it has the, like, baby Voldemort printed piece. Um, and then it has a bone, a Exoforce hand. I don't know why they didn't include a regular Lego figure hand. That's supposed to um, symbolize Peter Pettigrew's hand. And then a red piece, which is supposed to symbolize Harry Potter's blood. Um, and then the cauldron piece, of course. Got to bring Voldemort back to his, his full body size so i'm gonna cut really quick i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you the the main play feature for this set. okay so here's kind of how you're supposed to set up for your play feature um so you get harry he is trapped with the statue the tom riddle riddle parent statue um peter Pettigrew just you know put all the stuff in the in the what are those called colander no not a colander the you know this thing <laughs> And what you're supposed to do, this is your main play feature. It's the rise of Voldemort, right? So Voldemort has to rise. So right here, boom, Voldemort rises. There you go. Um, so that's pretty much the only play feature. Um, I mean, besides that, it's just all decoration. And it looks, it's a cool looking set. I think this set looks really, really cool. Um, I love the ability to be able to do the, you know, the grand, you know, magic fight between Harry Potter and Voldemort when, you know, you got one of them standing here. Get this guy away. And then, you know, Voldemort holds his wand in a special way, which before this, when the we used to use, used to use those bars, we couldn't really put it in that, in that kind of way. We had to make it legal kind of move with the Lego. But now that these have this little, like, ball joint on them, let me show you Hold on one sec. You can do that, which I very much enjoy. So you can set up that scene as well. Um, overall, this set has a lot of really interesting details that I want to show you really, really quick. This is a sticker piece. <coughs> and then the Tom Riddle right here is also a sticker piece. So. Besides that... Um, there's a lot of just cool detail. There's a lot of, like, leaf pieces. There's a lot of, um, greenery pieces just to show off the fact that this is, like, in, like, a graveyard. Um, 
a lot of dark tan, a lot of olive green. Um, I like the way this is built with the little frog and like the um, ingot piece. I think that's a really interesting um, build. But besides that, I mean, it's mostly a decoration set. I mean, kids can play with this set and have fun with it. Um, you could put Harry up here and he can be trapped by the statue. You do the rise of Voldemort thing. Um, you could simulate Peter Pettigrew cutting off his hand. The Death Eater kind of doesn't make much sense to me. I know the Death Eaters at the end of the scene just show up and they're there. But I think instead of a Death Eater, I think it might have been better if we had Cedric Diggory. Even though, you know, he's like dead or whatever. I just think it would be an interesting um, play feature. It's because you include the, the poor key. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it. The sets are great. I think I'm going to try to display this somewhere in my apartment. Because I think it's a cool display set. There are some play features, but there are a lot of play features. So you really, if you get this for a kid, um, I mean, they'll have stuff to play with, but it's mostly, I feel like a decoration set to have on display. Uh, let's go over the, the extra pieces you get. Like I said, all the wands come in two. Um, so you get an extra white and an extra black wand because Peter Pettigrew and Harry Potter have the same color wand. The, the two you get um, cover both of them. But besides that, you get an extra black wand, um, extra extra force piece. You get extra pieces for the for the cauldron. Um, you do get two of these knives, extra one of these pieces. I'm just making sure I didn't miss it anywhere. Um, and then some extra pieces. I love these sand green pieces. These are gonna come in handy, um, especially the slope pieces. Look really nice. It's one of these pieces. But yeah. Um, so besides that, final. Like, uh, rating for this for this set. I think if you could find it for cheaper than $20, you're pretty well off. I got it for 16 which the price per peep ratio is, is, pre is really, really good for $16 for this set. Um, it includes great minifigures. I believe this version of Harry is exclusive to the set. I don't know. I know there's the, uh, the Horntail Dragon one. I don't think... I think he's his outfit is a little bit different in that one. Um... But besides that, this is a really good set. If you can find it for $16, like I said, you know, pick it up. Has a lot of new, newer pieces um, and a lot of cool building techniques as well. So thank you for watching this review. Hope you have a great day. If you like this set, tell me why. If you hate this set, tell me why. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. Okay, one thing I forgot to show you after, after I turned off the camera was that the baby Voldemort, you can simulate when Peter Pettigrew is walking up to the grave with him in his arms like this forgot to show that off figured it would be good to show so that's it <laughs> thanks for watching again bye bye